Hey, what is going on, good people? My name is Jane and today welcome back to another Powder Primes uh, Leader Class uh, Review, where today, yes, as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at Op Evolution Class uh, Optimus Prime, and uh, yeah, I probably won't be needing this uh, stand or tripod, so bring the camera. Yeah, we have Class Evolution Optimus Prime, a nice box art, a lot of this, and uh, Right up here, you, do, you see Optimus Prime, and I don't know if it's, but I think maybe the arm is kind of in, actually a little weird. Hopefully, the shoulder isn't permanently crooked. Uh, because, yeah, that, I mean, so I put kind of lemon in this. So, if, I've only got one lemon actual transformer, which is the wind blade from the R.I.D. line. So, yeah, you do have the Matrix of Leadership, and, uh, yeah, I will be doing comparison with the with the evolution of uh, Rodimus Prime because you do also get the his leadership but instead of you do have the yellow outside edge so yeah this, the inside is silver so yeah you, it's basically the same thing it's the nature of leadership from Optimus Optimus 2 uh, Hot Rod so yeah on my side you do you do have Orion Pax which if you guys don't know Orion Pax was the original name of well was Optimus before he became a prime so yeah Orion Pax yeah here you do have all the primes and uh, yeah dude, back here you, you can see transforms with Micronus or and with all the other ones this is like the first wave of the power of the primes so yeah I only just now got interested in it so uh, yeah this is it's coming in here it says when the humble Orion Pax becomes the bearer of the matrix of leadership, he evolves to become the noble leader Optimus Prime. You got it in, in many different languages, so, uh, yeah. You got a matrix of leadership, it shows it opens just like in the G1 cartoons. And yeah. It removed the armor to become Orion Pax, but it's essentially, essentially you transform into, uh, you can basically just fold up the legs for, uh, Optimus. And yes, the reason why I got this, it's G1. Accurate with the trailer and all that stuff, so uh, yeah, so yeah, that's 33 steps for the actually in the vehicle mode, 15 steps for for Ryan Pax, and you guys couldn't even see it, so uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for the actual Pax again. Cool thing is, you do have his uh, cannon, well, you can't see it because the lights there, but yeah, trust me, there's a cannon right here, which is just Ryan Pax's two guns. But yeah, if you put them together, it becomes Optimus Prime's can just like Hot Rod. You put two, both of Hot Rod's guns together, become Optimus Prime's gun. So uh, yeah, so so let's get. Okay, guys. So here we have the Transformers Power to Primes uh, Evolution Optimus Prime, which in this case, uh, Evolution will be from Orion Pax Optimus Prime. So uh, yeah, if you guys don't know already. Uh, Orion Pax is a name, is the original name of Optimus Prime before he got the Matrix of Leadership and then he turned into Optimus Prime. So, uh, yeah. That's just a little background on this. So, yeah, that should make sense, but, uh, only, like, Transformer fans will actually understand about the Orion Pax thing. And, uh, yeah, before I actually continue on with the review, just to say, if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. That, that'll mean a lot to me. And, uh, yeah. It's just a quick little plug, so yeah, on the review. Now, again, I did neglect to do a Dr. Card uh, look for uh, Rodimus Prime Evolution. So, uh, yeah, here's a collector card. Apparently, there's two versions of this card you can get. Uh, one of which I've seen uh, some viewers get Alpha Trion. Not this, but obviously, yes, this is a Vector Signal review. Uh, yeah, if you. Oh, I just knocked over a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, you just turn on the back, you see it says Optimus Vector. And uh, yeah, it says time travels to fight where hope is lost. Which is obviously what Vector Sigma or Vector Prime, uh, which is what the Cronus in this wave does. But yeah, this is obviously the Vector Sigma or the Vector Prime armor. And uh, yeah, you, you do get Alpha Trion here. So, well, obviously the Prime figures are actually are sold separately. You, have, you don't get a foot here. But yeah, I'll show you about the actual head thingy when I show you the Matrix leadership. But yeah, you do get Alpha Trion here, just putting these two off the side. 
Yeah, I, I did a review on a Prime, well, Autobot Prime Master Reserve, how to call it. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, you do see the other ones, I believe. Yeah, you do see Alpha Trion here. I believe one of this is, oh, uh, my Cronus. No, this is my Cronus. Uh, it's, it's Souls Prime, I believe. I wonder if these are Leech Maximal, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, that's for card card, and uh, yeah, I want to talk about for the Matrix Leadership. Uh, this is the Matrix Leadership that, that you get with uh, this, uh, Optimus Prime. Obviously, it's consistent with all the other ones. But yes, I previously did a review on uh, Hot on, uh, Rodimus Prime Evolution. I'm going to keep calling him Hot Rod because that's what he's more commonly known, known as. And uh, yeah, you, it's basically just the exact same mold. I don't know what that sound was. I think something going on to my house. But uh, yeah. These two are the exact same mold from except for this and the center point for hot for Rodimus Prime is more accurate in actual matrix lesion than this, I believe, but it depends on where you what you're looking at. But uh yeah, both do pop out. If I can get this without like shaking. Like uh, this one's actually a lot tighter than but uh yeah. Yes. Then popping these out, I mean, you can see that the frame work of this is the exact same. Not the exact same. Well, yeah, it's the exact same. It's just the mold is the same. So, yeah, if you do have this, you can just swap it. Well, you can swap it out or something. But, uh, yeah, if you do want to make a G1 anchor, I believe, well, it's showing up as just like all orange because of on my camera. But, yeah, this one's a lighter shade of yellow, and this is just a Deep orange, almost like a honey mustard kind of thing. Trust, but uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't quite remember because which one's accurate because I haven't seen the night, the cartoon, the G one cartoon in a while. But uh, yeah, what? I'm gonna just keep this out. If you really want to do like a Vector Sigma or Optimus Vector, well, or Vector Prime, if you. If you're just getting into the actual Transformers one, Vector Prime, all you do is fold this Vector Prime and do actually this. The head thing kind of just like squeeze. I don't know why this goes in a lot easier than this actual Matrix leadership yet, then again. But yeah, just same blue as uh, this. But I noticed that while, while looking at this, this was a tiny sh a shade darker than this. This is more, this captures more the light, whereas this one just. Dark, I guess this is after the use of Optimus Prime. This is just, well, yeah, give them to Hot Rod. And oh my god, I got stuff sticking to me. And then, yeah, you know what? You can put this in and I'll show you. Well, showing here, all you do is just open well, I'll show you how to actually attach this to uh, Optimus Prime. But uh, yeah, you have the Matrix Leadership. But yeah, if you do want, you can just swap it out with uh, Alpha Trion. And it's actually kind of like stuck in the. Um, yeah, if you want to just take it out and kind of like slot. I don't. I don't believe I did an Alpha Trion review. I'm uh, pretty sure I did. But yeah, if you want to do both, like Alpha Trion, Optimus Trion. I don't. I don't want to call it, but uh, yeah. If you do want, you can actually just get that. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna choose to leave. Uh. Vector Sigma in there because well the blue kind of looks kind of looks good but uh yeah now putting this out the side uh, coming into uh, Optimus Prime or this is actually what he looks like in the cartoon I'm gonna hopefully I don't jackknife it but uh, yeah I can't really because it's so big uh, you guys can't really see it but uh, yeah picking my camera a little bit that's the entire convoy not convoy just the whole thing like the trailer, this is entirely G1 acted. I mean, minus the gun on top. But uh, yeah, this is the gun. But yeah, obviously, this is just a trailer. So yeah, this thing just does attach. But uh, yeah, it doesn't sit, but it kind of flops. Whereas Rodimus Prime actually has the has a thing on his convoy to actually kind of hold up, kind of like a kickstand. But there is a way to actually like pop kickstand in here. I don't know how, but uh, 
Yeah, he's sticking in the barrel of this gun. But again, you can, if you choose to, you can put this. Yeah, to do so, you pretty much just like be transforming the actual like trailer. Uh, oh, it's, the pegs are actually really tight on this. Hopefully, I'm not breaking it then. But yeah, you just pry it open a little bit. It does peg in here. You just peg in one of these pins. I just have it here, kind of angle it up. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to fit this in. But yeah. But uh, yeah, basically you have the trailer thing, and uh, yeah, you have the G1 on this fine cannon. Very G1 accurate, and uh, yeah, you know this thing back here. But uh, yeah, this does separate for Orion Pax. Guns. I don't believe Orion Pax had two guns. I don't know. I'm not that that into G1, but uh, yeah, you have two pegs and you have the magazine. I don't know. All of us have energy uh, clips so, uh, or magazines, but uh, yeah, very I could just mold in black plastic. But uh, yeah, putting this gun off the side, you'll see this with the uh, well, with the actual trailer, but uh. Yeah, you can actually peg this here on a back and kind of jam it in. Well, you don't want to jam it in, kind of strain the pegs. Apparently, this doesn't well, kind of wedge it in. You kind of have, well, yeah, if you want, you can just, but you can peg it in because, well, this is just peg slides into the back of the trailer hitch. You, well, you can do it on camera. Yep, just have it sit like that. Well, you can see that it drives around like that. And basically, there you have the entire look of the trailer. And yeah, kind of a major gripe. It's I mean, it's it's for G1 fans who are interested in the actual. Like if you've been watching G1, you you, you will know how excited I am to actually have this actual trailer part of this. And uh, yeah, this is I'm pretty sure this is one hundred percent uh cartoon accurate. So uh, yeah, I don't know if I can actually do this. I, I will be doing. I am gonna try to do a. Uh, Rodimus Prime, so putting up this off to the side. Now, I don't have a big review table, so I don't know if this is actually going to work out over Butcher M, but uh, yeah. Bringing it Rodimus Prime here. Bagging them up so I don't. So yeah, picking up the camera, you can see the thing in the front end. And uh, turning these guys to the side. Well, Obviously, Alphamus is a semi, semi truck, so you guys do, so you guys can see that, uh, obviously a truck, a semi truck with a trailer will be a bit bigger, and uh, yeah, I know that I do have it kind of not pegged in, but yeah, you can just let it rest, but uh, yeah, I will be comparing the actual just regular, like, unevolution mode, I don't know if that's how you would call it, but uh, yeah. So yeah, just, that's just a comparison, obviously. The red on Optimus Prime is a lot brighter than, uh, than an actual hot rod. So yeah, putting this off to the side, I don't know. Yeah, putting this off to the side. And uh, yeah, this truck, it does bend a little like that, kind of, to show Optimus Prime turning. And uh, yeah, a gripe here, along with, I mean, obviously they have to sacrifice something to show an evolution class, because the trailer is the Optimus Prime armor, as it shows in the back of the package. So yeah, you can see the Optimus Prime Optimus arms here. And uh, yeah, coming back. Obviously, you can clearly see that these are his feet right here. But uh, yeah, they had to sacrifice something that would actually make this a good enough transformation. But uh, yeah, I obviously just take, show you the trailer. It just packed it in that hole. Right there, but yeah, putting the trailer up this side, and like, yeah, if you do want to, you can just like, well, you can put something in there. Like, you put the gun barrel of a uh, scene national review, but uh, yeah, you can kind of put this in and uh, they kind of have like a kickstand or something like that, kind of hold the actual like trailer up. But uh, yeah, the trailer pack just folds in like that, which is part of transformation because yeah, this is the armor part. So uh, 
then yes. So yeah, putting this on the other side. And coming around to the actual like, cab part of it, this is very G1 accurate. I mean, up to here, if you're looking at this, very G1 accurate up to the front. I mean, you can see the head in there. But, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, parts had to be sacrificed because you have this part back here, which I was told that is mistransformed. I yeah, should have put this arm down, put this in. Mine can't do that. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to strain the peg because I've already strained some, some things here because, yeah, I've strained this here trying to get this thing to transform. I mean, it's not that hard, but I just don't want to strain having a little too much. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of iffy, but yeah, you do have, you can clearly see Ryan Pax's feet here, and then, um, yeah. Now, to get to the actual, like, gimmick part of this, I mean, we wouldn't call it gimmick, I mean, it does open for you to actually put the Matrix leadership kind of like the Cyberverse one, where it opens up, got the Matrix Blast, so uh, yeah, always starting off with the Vector one, so you just kind of, like, put, push the Matrix in here. Just push it in and like close the door and you basically just have make sure the leadership there but uh yeah again just like just imagine it's just the same thing with Alpha Trion but uh yeah if you are so inclined you can choose to display uh, the matrix of leadership the original really tightly squeeze one into this which is why I'm going to choose to actually just leave it in there because just to show the gimmick of actual like Optimus Prime with the Matrix leadership but uh yeah I will be starting up just like I did with the Hot Rod I'm just going to the actual I have a evolved one but uh yeah transformation from Ryan Ryan Pax is quite simple I mean well first well first thing you need to do is Kind of come around the front panel. Well, before, yeah, just take. Oh god, I just bought my camera. But yeah, you did the G1 truck head, and uh, yeah, like I said, up to here, like right here, looks good. But come around here, just and eh, transformation. Fold these up, and as you can see here, you have often surprised chest right there. Kind of like open this up a little bit. Kind of like hinge you know, around like so. And uh, yeah, you do see the peg goes into that slot. Do the same on the other side. Open this up. Kind of like take this kind of form around. And basically, you just kind of have the <clears throat> kind of the chest part of it. You just fold it in. It's on the prime. But uh, yeah, get the run packs again. Fold these arms out. And you see the Optimus Prime head in there. Kind of uh, like so, kind of bring these on like that, and uh, yeah, these are Orion Pack's arms, and uh, yeah, kind of fold this up, kind of get that way. You have the Orion Pack's head, kind of straighten, bring these legs down, and you do have the, like a skirt thing that goes with it. Separate the legs, and melt like so, kind of reach. You have nails, you can kind of do it, but I don't have nails, so yeah, fold out the the toes, the foot, but uh, yeah, bring the arms down. Well, you're supposed to, you're told to rotate it around, but when I do that, I can't really trans put this up. So yeah, I just tend to just leave it in this foot arm because you got a double hinge there, and uh, yeah, for the fist out, like then yeah, one of the arms, bring this down, kind of rotate it, uh, and get this. Like so, kind of for the forward. Use a little grab tab down here, and uh, yeah, basically it's kind of once you get them all balanced out, and like chicken leg it because of my slanted review table. Basically, this guy just doesn't want to balance. So uh, yeah, basically here you have Orion Pax and his uh, 
transform mode but yeah come around here sure enough you do have the actual head of Ryan Pats very accurate nice all about logo with the actual windows hey I believe at this time uh, Ryan Pats did have a girlfriend with a motorcycle which just kinda I just want to throw it out but uh yeah got a chest well not just a crotch piece on the legs a nice detailing you do have like the gold pieces and yeah zooming out obviously articulation you see the arms they kind of rotate around like that fist obvious, obviously the transmission head is on a I believe it's on a ball joint you can't really tell but uh yeah it looks all around like so shoulders are on a yeah shoulders are on the ball joint rotates all the way around kind of bends like so uh, knee go, knee go like that. Knee goes like that. What am I saying? Like that. Uh, feet bend like that. And, uh, yeah. Now, if I can get this guy to stand without flopping over. Yeah, just noticing that the feet pivot, not the whole entire thing. And his heel is stable. So you do kind of have to balance him out with the actual feet. Now, it looks out just kind of right, so uh, yeah, now getting in you know, a size comparison, I'm going to be bringing a hot rod. And bringing in a hot rod with Ryan Pass, obviously he's got the, like, the bends of the knees. But yeah, he's kind of box, boxy kind of, but uh, yeah, pick up here, I had to kind of chicken like this guy because, well, this guy doesn't really... Like the adjustment thing is kind of weird because this, like I said, the legs actually turn into the arms or the shoulders for a uh, Rodimus Brian. So, uh, yeah, these are pretty nice detailed. And, I, yeah, as I show you, obviously, you guys notice that the red is kind of a bit brighter on, on Rod, Hot Rod. It's kind of weird because Hot Rod is kind of a bit like a showboat. Not really a showboat, but really bright I mean he's a hot rod it's flashy so yeah yeah I feel like they could just kind of like swap the colors a little bit but uh yeah now let's go on to the actual like evolution step and uh yeah with the transmission basically have to get a uh, bottom not Rodimus, Ryan Pax kind of back almost back into a like his trailer or not trailer truck mode or cab mode. I want to say cab, but yeah, I will be skipping a step. But uh, yeah, basically just leave the legs like that. Or well, yeah, you, you need to rotate them around. So I'll explain a little bit. But uh, yeah, basically just it's for kind of you want to rotate the head around so it kind of fits into this, and you kind of want to grab. The Optimus Prime's head, kind of flip this out, kind of replace this with the actual head, and then just kind of take the legs, right? I've had the legs kind of fold it up, and make sure everything just like lined up. So, because the torso will be sliding in the actual armor part, so uh, yeah, just my camera a little bit, but uh, yeah, just want to like kind of flip the head and basically, yeah, take a little detail. Yeah, you basically just have classic G1 Optimus, or basically every single Optimus. You have his ears, and you did the uh, nice, like, kind of digital in the head. But you can see the wheels, which will, won't be visible when you attach it to the armor. But uh, yeah, nice detail because this is what you all you'll only be seeing kind of like up to here. But uh, yeah, you want you want to show something else, and uh, yeah, putting this off to the side. Now the complicated part is actual like trailer. Not, not that entirely complicated. The first thing you want to do, pull the trailer hitch, and uh, basically, what you do is kind of open this up. I want to show you if you want to attach a weapon in here. You can. Oh, and I also forgot to show the Orion Pax weapons, but uh, yeah, I really gotta do that. But uh, yeah, just separate them, have them hold these kind of like a dual wield. But uh, yeah, I don't really think Orion Pax has. The weapons and uh, yeah, you kind of want to 
on peg, hopefully don't like slap anything. But uh Yeah. And I just wanna like just open it like so, kind of like take the arms of Optimus, kinda of open this up to the side, kinda of just let that sit well, get the stuff out of the way, kinda of wanna fold the panels in. Kinda of wanna do it like so. And I basically just leave it, well, you want to fold it up like so. Basically, I mean, obviously, they have the, both Autobot logos. Basically, fold this up like so. You reveal the shoulder of Optimus, and uh, you just fold them up. You can kind of see that. And I'm kind of doing this at an angle because, well, my camera doesn't tilt up that high. So, yeah, I'm going to open this up and basically get the panels straight. Doing this. Uh, Straighten this out. Kind of take these two, okay, just fold them in. You want to separate the legs, and you can see the Optimus Prime. Kind of straighten these out. The legs coming up to place. Kind of like straighten out the feet. Well, straighten out the feet. If I don't knock some stuff over, because I have a lot of stuff on that side of the camera. So, uh, yeah, kind of want to fold this down. Kind of uh, basically just. Bring it in, kind of, kind of angles in, kind of fit in here. But uh, yeah, if you see this peg, it goes into the top slot right there, and kind of don't look so. And sorry about the screeching; it just doesn't really do much. But uh, yeah, if the peg goes to that top slot right in here. This one right where my pinky is, right there. So yeah. Yeah, just fit it. basically there you have the legs. And uh yeah, if I don't want to separate them, separate them like so. And basically come around the top. Kinda wanna full pull these arms down. And uh, basically there you have the armor. And yeah, we'll be painting the camera up so you guys can see this. But yeah, come on here, back you have the release thing for the cap mechanism. You, you want to attach the armor, you don't actually have to do it. I don't know what it actually catches on. Also, I don't really want to find out, but uh, yeah. You kind of want to align this and uh, I'm gonna push. Make sure it's in there properly and then make sure it clicks like so. And basically, there you have. I'm just trying to, I don't know why I'm talking like basically, there you have. What, what am I, uh, kindergarten show? Jesus, kind of, you want to straighten everything out. I know you guys can't see it, but I will be picking up the camera in a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Basically, there you have Optimus Prime fully transformed. And it is obviously Optimus Prime fully evolved. That's what I should be saying. But yeah, here in this Optimus Prime armor. And again, yes, I wouldn't be, I will not be transforming this guy back in the trailer because. This video is probably going to be around like 40 or close to 45 minutes because I want to try to keep this under an hour because my editings and also YouTube uploading takes freaking forever to upload an hour long video. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, I showed you the head detail. Oh, also, I forgot to say, uh, you do have these smokestacks back here. Yeah, I just want to like fold this up, kind of make a G1 accurate. So, uh, yeah, and I'm, I am holding my camera with one hand. Which is why there's all oh, these wobbles. So, uh, yeah. So, you basically do have. I know it looks pink on my camera. It looks pink on my camera, but you just are going to darken the video a little bit. But yes, it's red. Trust me, it's red. It's not pink. Osmus is blue and red. Not blue, like light blue and pink, I believe. That's basically what RC is. So, well, at least on the. From the Transformers Prime uh, line, but uh, yeah, your G1 uh, waist. There's no waist articulation here. It's arms. Well, I should say my camera. And you do have the legs all the way down the legs. Now you do have the G1 stickers. Now, what I was kind of a major gripe is they didn't have to put stickers on. Well, for me, I kind of I appreciate them putting on stickers, but for some actual true and true collectors stickers like should be just a rep repro labels kind of thing which is just stickers for transforms but yeah you do stickers on both sides here 
Yeah, I'm not very good with aligning stuff. Like, if I were to put the stickers on, it'll probably trigger some of you guys' OCD because mine, one, one will be at an angle and stuff. So, yeah, I really appreciate it. And also, oh, this guy doesn't want to stand. So, yeah, apparently with the kind of uh, off shoulder a bit, that doesn't hinder the transformation at all. But, uh, yeah, if you get on a slightly at a wider angle, it may disrupt your transformation. I guess it's the kind of the peg here or something. But, uh, yeah, this is basically just like articulation of the feet. And, oh, my God, this is reflected. Well, you can kind of see reflected like the light. A little bit, but uh, yeah. Arms on this prime go out like that, down like so. And arm obviously rotates around due to transformation, goes out like that due to transformation, rotates here, and due to transformation, no waist articulation, just like that. Nice detailing, you got a nice fist, so you have a sock Megatron in the face if you really <laughs> want to. I don't believe that we're gonna release a Voyager class. Megatron Power Prime line, but uh, yeah, head like that, I don't know, on sight ball joint, but yeah, we're just gonna do the exorcist or something that rotates it around. And uh, yeah, showing off the actual weapon, you basically do have this, and uh, basically just kind of push it in. And uh, yeah, I will just bending. Well, I know you guys can't see it, but uh, again. Picking up the camera so you guys can see it. Basically, you have the Optimus Prime, like so. And, uh, yeah. I don't know my gripes here, again, with the Optimus Prime being a parts former. My major gripes of this is the backpack. You can clearly see these are these are Ryan packs. This feet. Or legs, or whatever. You can just see that these are limbs. Obviously, you wouldn't be displaying it like that, but uh, yeah, you'd probably be displaying the Optimus Prime like that. But uh, Optimus Prime doesn't have a backpack, but yeah, you can kind of see they did a best job of hiding the feet part like so. But uh, yeah, you do have that actual cannon barrel stuff, and I just realized the barrel is actually off a little bit. Yeah, my OCD is kind of triggering a little, but uh, yeah, you do have a nice barrel. Yeah, when you're at the um, at the Decepticon, they run. So yeah, you basically have that now. Obviously, straighten out right these the arms, and hopefully I don't knock over Optimus Prime because yeah. Now doing a size comparison, not really doing a size comparison, but uh, hopefully I do have Hot Rod or Rod of its Prime. So I, hopefully I do have this guy properly transformed. Basically you have Basically you have these two together. Obviously this is two primes. Now obviously you won't actually see well you have seen these two together because I was trying to get some matrix optimus that actually won't have it. But uh yeah, basically you have these two. Yeah, both of these have their own uh, problems, which is what I'll discuss after it. But uh, yeah, putting Rodimus on their side and hopefully he doesn't fall. fall oh, there you go, he is going to flop over. Got a chicken like this guy. I know you guys can't see it, but uh, screw it. I'm just gonna lay this guy down. I'm gonna like, break stuff. But, uh, yeah, if you do want to show the, not really a gimmick, but, uh, yeah, show the actual matrix thing, you actually have to open up the chest of Optimus Prime, and doing so, well, hopefully you don't break anything, but yeah, you do have to open the second chest, which is the actual, like, truck chest, you kind of uh, wedge your finger in there, kind of like so, to kind of show, like, a matrix of leadership. I blast, but uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna just I, I'm gonna choose to leave the leadership in there like I did with Rogers Prime, and uh, yeah, closing this off. 
it's up and uh, yeah from, from my opinion again both of the evolution Optimus Prime and and uh, Hot and Rodimus Prime both do have their uh, drawbacks and kind of a setback I should handle this figure because well I mean some parts you have to sacrifice because well it's an evolution class and you really can't like fit something in there and, oh, and uh yeah just doing this review I mean obviously yes a review just takes a long time probably wouldn't be seeing this as a shorthand yes this part is like 12 minute long Yes, I've actually been recording this for an hour or almost half an hour or hour out there like 45 minutes of actual content. So uh, yeah, that explains why I'm not going to go back because it takes way too long to record this. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in G1, I recommend you guys pick into both Hot or Rodimus Prime and Optimus Prime. But yeah, just for display piece, I would just display this in the G1 truck mode. Same thing with a Rodimus Prime because the Roman modes both suffer and you have extra like limb parts but uh, yeah the best one in my opinion is the actual just actual vehicle modes well the truck and uh, uh trailer in the Rodimus convoy so uh, yeah now I play I, I have a discount, but when I got this, which was over a month ago, because the intro part of this video I recorded was like a month ago, and then the price I paid it was close to fifty dollars. I don't think I remember the price of it, but it depends on where you're getting this. Now, if you're getting this overseas, it may cost you more, depending on your conversion rate and how much shipping and handling is. But yeah, in the U.S., I got mine for fifty dollars. I don't. Now, when this video is going up, I don't believe they're selling this anymore. In retail because they're getting it out of the cyberverse line so uh yeah again this is just this is just my opinion on this you want to take this at full face value just pick this up on your own and see how how you like it in this in that case please be sure to hit thank you guys for watching please be sure to hit that like button down below if you enjoy it hit the subscribe button if you want to be updated whenever i upload a video you don't you don't have to hit that notification bell just choose just do it if you play if you want to but uh, yeah every subscriber helps me out a lot and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and fly hard pilots